Well, it's that time of the year. We're looking backwards going, hey, what were the numbers from last year? Let's talk about that. Hi, I'm Charlotte Mabry with Keller Williams Realty, and you are in luck today. We're talking about stats and numbers. <laughs> I can hear you're excited, right? But let's talk about what's going on in real estate as it applies to you from last year and looking forward to this year. If you'd like some information on buying or selling, just look around our site. There's some information there that you are welcome to take home with you and study on about selling and particularly in today's market. So let's talk a little bit about some of the statistics from some of the articles that I've been reading. If you were around and were in the housing market back in 2006, you remember, man, it was crazy back then, top of market. Well, the year of 2021 is almost the same. There might be a few hundred thousand houses short, but not much. It's a little over six million homes sold in 2021 in the year of no inventory, supposedly, right? Trust me, there is inventory. And so a very, very hot market. Because of people's perspective on the availability of housing, though, house prices definitely went up. Now, in the month of December, this past month of 2021's December, we did think we did see things slow down just a hair. But to give you some perspective, from one December to the next, the median home price. Now, this is nationwide. Was 358,000 at the end of last year. That's up almost 16% from December of the year before. And I was on a, a, a meeting this morning, and it's more like 17 to 18% nationwide if you look at uh, maybe from January to January. So the house prices are still going up, bottom line. You've got a lot of equity in there, especially in markets where we typically saw maybe 4% a year appreciation for it to be 17%. Oh my goodness, that's way on up there. Total housing inventory is way down. But keep in mind, it's not that there aren't houses for sale. It's just there's so much demand, people wanting to buy, that houses are going so quickly, they don't sit on the market. And it seems like there's nothing available. But supply and demand makes those prices go up again. If you look at days on the market, almost 80% of the homes sold this past December were on the market for less than a month, on average about 19 days. So that's not long to be on the market, very, very fast pace right now. First time home buyers were about a third of the market, about 30% of the sales. That was actually up from the year before so that's a good thing to know that's that those first time bow buyers are getting a chance about 17 percent of the homes though were purchased with cash so that means that's probably not a first time home buyer and could potentially even be an investor in the pro you know for these properties now in the south if you look at those the areas of the country specifically those of us here in the south Existing home sales did slow down a little bit in December. Um, however, our median sales price across the South was about 323000 So that is a little bit of a decrease, but still amazing growth over the past couple of years. And there's a lot of demand because a lot of people are moving into our Southern region right now. So if you're listening to my video blog, watching my video blog, guess what? If you're a seller, you could never find a better time to sell a property. And I know what you're thinking, gee, Charlotte, I'd love to sell, but I don't know where I would go. Guess what? There are opportunities, more opportunities to buy coming on the market right now than there have been in a long time. This new year of 2022 is your year to make this happen, to sell at the top price and to still buy a new home while interest rates are low. They're beginning to go up those interest rates. And so if you want to take advantage of having the most cash in your pocket and still being able to buy with low interest rates, you need to give our team a call now.
That number is 423-593-5588. We'll be glad to walk you through the whole process. Hey, thanks for listening to our State of the Union address, as it were, today. I hope you have a fantastic day and a wonderful week. Thanks again.